Greetings and salutations, everyone. Here we go. Temple time. Just get rid of everything. I am... Whoops. Hang on just a second. I always forget. There we go. Items. I am going to put on a slingshot, because that will have use right there. Oop. That worked out well. So you can see, kind of like in uh, 64, you can't get these little spiders. Okay, hang on. Sorry, I thought I had it on hold. Well, that was just the trigger freaking out. Anyway, here's our friend. Monkey, monkey friend. There we go. Get the strike just right. Ah, I think the monkey wants us to go explore. Hey, that's the monkey that stole your lancer. Doesn't look like she's beckoning you. Aren't you the popular one? Yeah. All right. Let's see. There's pots. Don't think I can get to them now. Whoop! There we go. Gotta climb straight, Link. Straight and true. No need to go left and right. Monkeys don't know how to open doors. Tragic fate. Now here we go, Skultala. A little bit different. Now you can see there's the finish. They are a little creepier though with the the painted skull on there. They think, monkey, where are we going? Monkey, you gotta tell me where to go. for you, sir. Ew. Guess we would need bombs for that. Now here we go. Bomb bugs. This is a new thing. Perfect. So they're kind of like the bomb plants in 64. But they're bugs. It makes sense. Don't question it. Other than that, they're not, like, super, super threatening. Alright, hang on, monkey. No, no, no. No, no, no. I gotta see if I can get this treasure chest down, monkey. Which I can't. Next thing on the list, then, light the... Oh, I bet Minna was gonna tell me. Light lanterns. Aha! There's four of them. See, we're learning as we go. Nope, just put it away. There we go. Alright. Let's go, monkey friend. No. Oh. It's a little blustery here. Good thing there's this wooden bridge that looks completely stable. He's alive. What? Oh, what's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? Oh no! Now we can't go any further. We might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants you to take she wants to take you somewhere, so maybe you should just follow her. Stop telling me what to do. Alright, monkey. This way. Oh yeah. Trapezing across. Hmm, I bet you'll be useful. Oh! I'm sorry! I don't know if you're just actually part of the... The scenery. Oh! Not just part of the scenery. There's something there. Get away from me. Phew! Out at last! Gracious! Once I got in there, I couldn't squeeze back out. You were a big help. Thanks. 
If you're looking for something in here, you see? Gracious, yes. You must need something here, too. Shall we try working together for a while? A little adventure? You may, you may not think I look like much, but I could be quite helpful. I can even warp you out of here if you want to leave. So don't think of me as a burden. Now let's get started. So I got the Oku. If you call her in a dungeon, she will let you out and return, allow you to return where you want. So basically like a, a dungeon warp thing. But not to worry. The idea is to not use her. Stop it. Go back to sleep. Oh, oh. I guess we're going this way. What? Oh, hello. No, it's this button. Oh. All right, well, it fell in the water. There we go. Sorry, little friend. I had to... Friend, I don't have keys. Friend, I have no keys. We gotta go find one. We gotta go find. All right. It's probably... It's probably something in there, yes. Oh, so I should point out this was a thing uh, in Wind Waker as well, but you notice that Link will look at something if he thinks something's important. It's sort of a clue system. Helps you know what's what. So we're gonna go through this door. See if this goes anywhere. We need to find ourselves a key. Oh, good. A spinning bridge. Dude. The cool thing with the map is that it it moves about in a way so that it like centralizes the room on the map. You'll see what I'm talking about. But it's not just like it's not like just like each room is a square or each room has to fit within a certain parameter. It's just that it'll be as big as it needs to be. And then smoothly move around as you go from room to room. It's a pretty cool little thing. So that was actually pretty close. Didn't want to go swimming in the water. Too early for that. Oh! Another friend! These cages are pretty sturdy. Oh no. Link, how could you? This is the only good bridge we had. Anyway. Roll into that just to. There we go. We'll get it eventually. All right, this is my monkey first, guys. All right, go attack the monkeys. Ooh, do need that heart. Controls are difficult. All right, so we go follow some more monkeys. So as you can see, we are slowly building a chain of monkeys. So they go and get stuff done for us. This is actually I wanted to check. No, Link, you gotta... How is up difficult for you? Oh. Is there actually nothing here? You just put vines in here? Hmm. I want to say I'm upset by that, but that's technically clever. Use actual vines to get actual work done. Okay. Where are we going, monkeys? Okay, well, probably not in the water. That's probably not what you wanted me to do. I don't think I can do much anything else. Woo! Money, however. Yes, here we go. It's a shortcut. Sadly, not a shortcut to mushrooms, it'll, but it'll do. Come here, come here. Perfect. Wanted to see what these vines were about. Gary stuff. It's way over there, I suppose. 
Not necessarily a shortcut, but could be. Let's go, go looking around. Oh, I hope you get used to the sound of monkeys. You can see, this is why we need two monkeys. They just stay put. Oh, little freeze. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Just has to hiccup. Oh, okay, you. A little different monster here. Oh, yes, we got the swag. Swag, put the sword away, move. If you do it at a certain moment for each character's death and no other dangers around, he does that little sur sword twirl thing. That would be the exact phrase I need to use. Right, how do I just do that? Right. So, don't get close to those things. Like I just did. Uh, eh, eh, I'm just gonna let you explode. This game can be a little finicky. Just trying just to get close enough to stand stuff at and... Yes, alright. This time I didn't even get eaten by the plant plant. I call it a like-like plant. I don't know what it is specifically. Oh, No, I, I do want to jump across at some point, but I really want to grab... Yes. Actually, can I just launch myself up there? Nope. That's rude, game. That's super rude. But what's this about? Let's say Door. I probably can't, can't get to it. Whatever's in there anyway, so I'm going to ignore it. Oh, I need to get... More of so many, so many things in here I gotta do. Alright, first things first. We gotta blow up that wall with this bug. Ugh, my life is ruined. Alright, here we go. Here we go. That's just. Alright. Alright, come on, Link. Yes! That timing is pretty crazy crucial. Oops. So I'm, it's interesting kind of relearning some of these mechanics as I go along here. Nope. I see another friend, but he's not trapped in a little cage. Alright. Alright. So, can't do much about that, but I did see a treasure chest, and treasure chests are definitely good. There we go. Probably containing keys. Alright. I can free the monkey. It's actually gotten. Uh, okay, that was close. Uh, just go straight across. Uh, Link, don't you want to just climb these? Don't you want to? Okay. We're going to have to do some shenanigans, it looks like. Some puzzle solving. Boy, do I miss... Ugh. Well, what even happened there? Was I not high enough? There we go. Smash the pots. What will you give me? Oh. Alright, well. I do need my rubies. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. I should probably get up there. Don't worry about those floor plano creatures. Alright, well I got five rubies. It's actually gotten pretty warm down here in AZ. It's 
I don't know, it's like 80, 86 degrees, I think, last I saw. Alright. Alright, guys, how am I gonna get platforms? Oh, hang on, I see torches. And torches... Oh, no! They're positionally perfect. Alright. That's what this puzzle is. Okay, so don't step on that one. Step on that one. Perfect. These fly flower tiles. Ugh. Flower tiles. Enemy tiles. Not being my best friends at the moment. Alright. Save the oil. We've only got so much. Alright. There we go. Come here. Come here. And huzzah. Alright, didn't look like he dropped me anything. Not even a single ruby for my troubles. But we have a new friend, so I mean, that's good. Alright, making sure to avoid any more of... Actually, I'll just swim. would rather just swim than get hurt again. Alright. So back out we go. Like, this may not be Breath of the Wild, but it's still a nice game to play. Alright. Let's go see if I can deal with these creatures. They do kind of take a while sometimes to die. Just... It's like they get stunned, realize that they died, and then actually died. It's weird. But you learn to deal with it. Aha! Uh -huh. I was right to come here. The beast inside told me to come rescue my friend. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. So we got this weird... Weird flower thing. Come on, he's probably hungry. Get it, get it. What was... What? Oh, hang on. Ah! Okay. Not an immediate poor message. That's the good news. Hmm. I bet it's too close to him. I bet he... He prefers it... A little bit of a distance. Oh, is that too far for you? Come on. Come on. I'm trying, man. Alright, that's gonna be too close for sure. Alright. What? what? Oh, I bet if I just wait for him, that's what it is. Ah! I was reading if I could actually pick it up. Oh, alright. That was an incorrect method of delivery. I'm gonna figure this out one day. Aha! Perfect. Just hit enough times with bombs, it'll be fine. Oh. Now I see where the bombs are going to come in handy. No. Alright, but this time... <sighs> Didn't mean to put you away, sword. And it cost me dearly. Wow, alright. Aiming's not my strong subject here. If I just had a regular p pack of bombs, this wouldn't be so hard. Dang it. 
All right. Don't be scared of the plant. Got it. What? Okay. Now you're dead. I now need that heart. I might need the key. Definitely need the heart. All right. I gotta actually physically pick it up. I do a lot of hard work here. All right. All right. Now I have a total of four monkey buddies. And what I'm gonna do is just go back to the main room, I believe. Where I should have what I need. I guess I could just... Yep. Easy. And then... The door's somewhere below me. Ooh, okay. Camera, please. go there's our little monkey buddies so once you get all these buddies you should grab this treasure chest though I guess I missed it whoops almost not control over found a dungeon map yes yes so now you can actually see different rooms if you want to see where everything's at all right here we go this is why we've been collecting monkeys. But yeah, you gotta sit here and just watch them have fun. The Bridge of Monkeys. Easy peasy. Alright, you can slash like these little pods for either ammunition. Maybe some rubies. Mostly, I just needed it for the hearts. Because, by golly, we've got a mini-boss battle. Would it be a Zelda game without some mini-bosses to deal with? Alright, here's a boomerang friend. So, a special thing you should know about these red Deku plants is that they regrow after time. So we gotta just expect that from this guy. So that's... that was actually pretty good. What you want to do is... is uh, hit him when he throws the boomerang. Roll into the thing so that he's off balance when Boomerang comes back, and then you're good to go. Come here, buddy. Whoops. Like, you want to see where he goes. But you want to... There we go. You don't want to Z-target him, because then you'll jump attack instead on when he's on the pillar, which you don't want. Hope you learned your lesson, bud, bud. Oh! A parasitic spider thing. I've heard that excuse before. Just like that. But he left a best friend boomerang behind. I am the fairy of winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil and now I have my true power back. Please take it with you. Use it to aid your quest. And may both my power and my blessing go with you. If you focus power on your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the power of winds, aiding you in unforeseen ways. So this is the Gale Boomerang, which is different from every other boomerang 
where it basically forms a tornado as you go around in places. If you played Wind Waker, there's a lock-on feature where you can press the R button and you can lock up to five different targets, so you can kind of create a path if you need to. Oh, hello. I bet even the monkeys should be satisfied now. Okay, let's continue coming this place. We already found something good, so let's keep searching places we haven't looked yet. It's perfect. So, I will actually... Uh, I keep forgetting. I don't need the pause menu. It's technically faster this way. But you can see there's uh, this door, which is locked by this thing. You do have to hold uh, the Y button, or the X button if you got it equipped to there, so that it'll charge up. Otherwise, it just becomes just another old boomerang. Whoops. They wanted to lock on the door. It's gonna take a while just to get through that door. Well, here's what I'm gonna do instead for sure. Cause I'm this is all just teaching me just to charge my boomerang up anyway, right? But I will end the episode here. Oh, that's three. Three times. Three's the lucky number with with Zelda. I should know this. But I will end the video here. It's already a lengthy dungeon. Like as you can see, even on the map, like, there's still that whole, s kind of this whole section we need to go through with, there we go, move with the C-stick. There's those rooms over there, that room on the side, all these rooms over here. So, we'll be doing some more exploring. I will continue this next time. Thank you for watching. I will see you all later. You all have fun now.